If you have kids back in school, maybe you're packing lunches. We want to tell you why you should avoid using plastic when you are doing those lunches. Here to talk more about that is Dr. Laura Glenn. She is a naturopathic physician at Rejuvena Health and Aesthetics. Nice to have you here. Thank you Thanks so much. So the American Academy of Pediatrics just came out with a report uh, saying that chemicals found in containers can do what to young bodies? Well, the plastic compounds can leach into our food, and then when children eat them, even when adults eat these things, uh, they mess with our hormones. So they can cause um, puberty time to change. Mm -hmm. So either delaying that or actually speeding it up so that when girls are going into um, puberty a little sooner. Exactly. Um, it actually not good for pregnant women to really be eating food mm -hmm. out of plastics that have been heated also. The phthalates are associated with kind of changing the um, development of the male genitals. So if they're carrying a male infant. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about even these plastic containers that you can put in the microwave, right? right? So a better choice would be using something like glass. Um, you know, and these have plastic lids, which... But you wouldn't put those right. in the microwave. You can put the glass in the microwave, but you don't want to put the lid in. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the new glass containers are coming with plastic lids. That's fine, just don't heat the plastic lids. Right, okay, so what are some safer alternatives? So safer alternatives are always going to be glass. So you can find things like this now that are wrapped in something that's a little softer. So right. it drops it hopefully it won't break right away. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel is always a good option um, but really glass and stainless. Uh, ceramic is also great. A little harder for kids to take to school. A little well, more that, likely to that break. was going to be my next question because mm -hmm. you mentioned the glass and we use that at home but if you're packing a lunch for your kid that's really not necessarily a good option not right? Not the easiest. You really have to look for things like this that are wrapped in silicone so mm -hmm. if it drops Sorry, that mm -hmm. was a little loud, but you're not okay. going to break it right away. Right. Right? So stainless and glass wrapped in silicone are usually our better options for that. Do you have some people asking you if there's a way to detox your body of those chemicals if they've been using plastic for a long time? People ask. Um, you know, the thing is that some of them are fat soluble, so they get into our bodies and they persist. So there are things that you can do to generally detox, like exercise, sweating, saunas, being hydrated, making sure that kidney and liver are, are healthy and can tolerate that. Um, but there's nothing in, in particular that I would recommend people take to try to detoxify from plastic compounds. Other than just changing your habits changing right your habits. now. Exactly. So we talked about the young bodies and of course if you want more information on exactly what these chemicals can do and some alternatives, definitely you can find uh, Dr. Laura Glenn at Rejuvena and it's we rejuvenate.com. That's the website. Thank yes. you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you.